Hi everyone and welcome to a new season of Pompey Women Vlogs. We're back at Wesley Park for Pompey Women versus Cardiff City in the league. It's great to be back. Uh, we were gutted to miss the first two games of the season, but uh, so I guess we had to have a holiday at some point. Yeah. So we went cruising around the Mediterranean. That was quite yeah. fun, wasn't it? I mean, yeah, that was, it was really all, cool. All apart from the fact that our ship hit another one during a storm, but and we that, were on the beach. Yeah, but that you know that's another another story another for another story. time. It's great to be back uh, watching the women's team again. While we've been away, they've had a great start to the season, haven't they, Abby? Yeah, so I believe we scored 16 and conceded none, which is really good. But I think we just got to like keep it up because each game will have its threats and each team is completely different. So we just got to take it game by game, but I think we've got a good chance today. Yeah, so winning our first two games, uh, Cheltenham 5-0 in the league uh, and then um, Ashford 11-0 in the preliminary cup game. Obviously a perfect start to the season for the women, two clean sheets. Uh, and let's just build on that. And Abby's right, every game is a threat. Cardiff are by no means a walkover. They got promoted last year. They've been in tier three. Um, they're experienced at this level. So yeah, it's gonna be a tough game today. Um, we've had a busy summer, haven't we? Abby's yeah. been playing cricket. We've had a very successful summer playing cricket. Yeah. So really you fun. won the under 12 tier one hardball league and Abby finished the eighth highest run score in Surrey, which was brilliant. Yeah, that's good. And then you won the under 13 softball league and yeah. then you went to finals day where the four league winners from the region play in a finals day and you won it yeah, we to won. become Surrey champions. That was yeah, absolutely that's really brilliant. Fun. Yeah, we've had a really cool summer following Abby of her cricket. And now she's back playing football. So you had your first friend leading you yesterday. yesterday. And how did that go? Uh, we won 5 0. Against Porchester. And how did what did you do in the game? Uh, I got a goal and an assist. A goal and an assist. A header from a corner. It was jazz <laughs> younger style. And you got jazz shirt on today. Jazz younger style header from a corner. From try a, open the score. From Flex, amazing corner. Yeah, it's brilliant. So, yeah, we're just really excited to be back. I yeah. believe the lineup's out for today. So, shall we see who is starting the game today? Yeah. So, in goal, we've got our new captain, Hannah Horton, then Nicole Barrett, Jazz Younger, Reva Castley, Evie Gain, Ava Robotham, Lita Rutherford, Annie Rolfe, Beth Lumsden, Emma Jones, and Sophie Quirk. On the bench, we've got Ella Wilde, Danny Lane, Ali Hall, Georgia Freeland, and Emily Pittman. Okay, so that's the lineup today. Abby, really strong lineup. Yeah, really strong lineup, and Sophie Quirk starting, which is obviously really good. And so. Yeah, I mean, we've got such a formidable front line this season. Um, teams have really struggled in both pre season, which we were undefeated in, and the first two games of the season to contain our front line. So, really, I think what Jay's going to want to do this season is keep teams on the back foot and really mm -hmm. take the game to them. That's what we're built to do, and that's what our team lines up to do. So, yeah, excited. Yeah. Uh, the sun's out. They're expecting another big gate. Had a really big uh, attendance for the first game of the season here. Yeah. So, expecting another one. So, yeah, let's see how the girls get on in the first half.
Okay, half time here. Pompey three, Cardiff nil. Abby, thoughts? Uh, I thought we played it excellently, but a bit unfortunate we've kind of got a few more. And it's actually Sophie, she had a lot of chances, but unfortunately they just didn't come off really. Yeah, credit to Sophie. When she goes through on goal, you're actually more surprised when she misses. <laughs> yeah. um, she's normally quite lethal, but you know, let's not take anything away from the team. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Straight out the blocks, got our, uh, you know got ahead and then we, it's all been one-way traffic since then. Don't think Hannah's had a safe to make. Um, we're doing really well. Um, we don't want to take our foot off the gas. Uh, we saw last year how important goal difference was if you're going for the title. So games like this, we need to get as many goals as we can because you're still going to have your one nilers, aren't you? Yeah. So you're going to need to get as many goals as you can. Mm -hmm. And Jay is adamant about clean sheets. So that's going to be the aim. Keep a clean sheet and see if we can maybe get a goal or two more. Yeah. But yeah, at the moment, playing really well. That front four is causing chaos. It's a really hot day and the Cardiff players, are they're going to start to flag as the game goes on. Yeah. So yeah, really good first half. Let's see how they get on in the second half.
Okay, so full time here, uh, Pompey 9, Cardiff 0. What an incredible result. Um, before we give our sort of feedback and, and everything like that, we had managed to grab Jay just now, so let's get his thoughts on the game. Right, joined on the vlog by manager Jay Sadler. Jay, what do you make of that today? Thought we were really exciting, to be fair to watch. Really enjoyed us in possession. Um, thought we played really well in the first half in terms of playing vertically. And then second half, I think we were able to dominate the ball a little bit more, obviously with the heat, it's a hot day, but to score nine goals and get a clean sheet, you've got to be, you've got to be pleased. Yeah, you must be chuffed with that. Um, three clean sheets now, scoring bags of goals. Um, it's going to be a tough test next week. Got a hashtag away, haven't we? And they've had a good start to the season. So what's going to be your message to your players? We said it then, um, we can't be complacent now. We've got to keep our feet on the ground and keep working hard, stay humble. Um, obviously, we're really happy with, I think, so 25 goals in the last three games, which shows our attacking qualities. But I think the biggest thing, as I said to, to Max midweek, was the three now three clean sheets just shows that we've got good connectivity and we can defend our box. And against teams like Hashtag coming up, um, we know that chances might be far and few. And when they do come, we've got to take them. Um, and we know, looking at Hashtag results, they're going to have chances. So we've got to be switched on and, and ready to defend. Too. Yeah, brilliant. Um, today was uh, pretty hot out there, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, you're able to utilise your squad. You've got a really strong squad this year, haven't you, with the subs off yeah. the bench. And um, What's your message to some of the players? Because you've had Danny Lane come on today, score a hat-trick. Guaranteed start next week, no? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work like that, does it? <laughs> well, listen, that's a quality response. Um, I think the, the quality of players we have in the squad, as you alluded to, still got Kelsey and Izzy and T and, and players that... that that are still fighting to get back in the squad as well. Um, so it's it's hard to keep everyone happy. I know that and I've got to accept that, but it's about keeping them all motivated. And when we're putting in performances like this um, and we're churning out results, then I don't, if that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what does. Um, likewise, playing for a team like Portsmouth now, we were invested in the women's team. We want to go as far as we can. Um, that, that should be motivation in itself. Well, brilliant. Well, thanks for joining us on the vlog for the first time this season. I and hope uh, we'll see you next week. See you next week. Okay, so that's manager Jay Sadler's view on the game. All right, so what are our thoughts? Well, Abby, what a game. I mean, Cardiff won promotion last year and I expect them to finish mid-table. They're not yeah. a bad side at all. No. But we were, we just had too much for them today. I felt we were too mobile, we were too aggressive, our pressing was good, our intensity was good. Um, and arguably, especially in the first half, we probably could have had more, couldn't we? Well, yeah. I mean, in the first half, we had a lot of, like, so many chances, like, so few players running for in goal, like, all the time. And I just think we have so many good options, like, on the bench, on the pitch, everywhere, really. Well, that proved, didn't it, with Danny Lane exactly. coming off the bench to score a hat-trick. In, I like, mean, 30 minutes. We something. have goals in the team. Last year, there was a lot of pressure on Sophie Quirk, especially after Emma Jones got injured. This year, Emma's back and you know the, the, we've got goal spread through the team as we've seen in the first few games so yeah it's a really really good performance from the girls uh, they've got to keep going we've got hashtag away um next week and they've won their first two games including a very impressive result today uh, by beating oxford so yeah some impressive results i'll put the results from today up on the screen along with the league table i believe i haven't checked but i think pompey are probably top um, and that's obviously where we want to stay, isn't it? But, I mean, it's brilliant. Um, an excellent start to the season. Couldn't be any better. But we really do just need to take one game at a time. We need to... Yeah, just reset, Realistically, right? you would need to win four out of every five to win the league. So, um, we've just got to keep going. Every game... Um, and I know definitely that's the approach Jay has. Just mm. every game. Just go again, go again, go again. And see where we are, um, you know, at the end of the season. But... Couldn't ask for any more. That was an absolutely brilliant performance and we're dead chuffed with that. Uh, as always, if you're still here, thanks for listening to our ramblings. Uh, if you could like and subscribe, that really helps the channel. It really helps promote it across the platform. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you next week at Hashtag Away.